Hi, this is Tilly from O Tilly Styles Stock Photography. I just want to share with you a quick tutorial on how to use O Tilly Styles Stock Photography social media templates, which are all pre made with Canva online photo editing app. A lot of people are using Canva because it's completely free and they can add all sorts of text. Um, there's heaps of pre made layouts on Canva as well. It makes life so easy for people with no Photoshop skills. Um, it's also free and like you have to pay for Photoshop so it's a lot of people are choosing this over Photoshop um, except people like me who need Photoshop dang it <laughs> so basically once you've signed into Canva and you've created an account which is completely free you can just click sign up with Facebook they don't need any of your personal details um, sign up create a, an account with Canva and completely free and then this is your home page how many times have I said completely free? Go rewind that and count it and let me know, hey? Um, <laughs> on your home page, you've got all these different options that show you different social media templates or even if you go down lower, there's print templates as well. So you can actually create your own logo or business card or a menu if you run a restaurant. There's so many different options. That's a wonderful tool. I'm going to add it in again there. That is completely free. Um, so you, you can't lose with Canva. So I normally click the social media button here and select that. It creates a 800 pixel by 800 pixel blank template. Now over here on the left hand side you have a bunch of pre-made outlet, uh, layouts, outlets, layouts. Um, my tongue is not connected to my brain at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, it's been a long day. So if you scroll through here there are literally hundreds of layouts. Um, so many different options. Now every one of these layouts is completely editable so you see something, use your imagination, any of these can be completely changed like you could put your photo here and you could make that plain block colour, um, you could use a photo in the background of this one, you can completely change all of the colours of this and the photo in the background of this one as well so there's really they're completely editable and very cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to do start with a social media quote. So I want to share something cheeky and fun to show a bit of your personality to your followers. Um, I love this one. It's very plain and very simple and it lets you show off the cool photo in the background but have plenty of space for text as well. So I've started by dropping the opacity of this white box down to 50% so that you can see all of the photo but your text will still stand out in the front. Okay, so I'm going to go down here on the left hand side down to the upload section which is where all my pre-uploaded photos are. So I can click on any of those and it will automatically add it to the template for me. If you drag it to the background it will auto fill the background, you don't even have to resize. So that actually looks pretty amazing as it is, but I don't like this font. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to change the font up here sort of mid left there is a button that allows you to change your fonts. Now there is a really cool sans serif font here that I saw just before. It starts with G. I think it's Glacial something. Hang on. Glacial Indifference. What a cool name. I really love this font. It's nice and simple and it stands out from the background because it's not too fine. It's also not too chunky. I hate chunky fonts and um, it's sans serif which is my favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in a quote here. Yeah, typo. <laughs> so I am quite cheeky, as you can tell. <laughs> I love popping, um, saying surprising things, um, letting, letting my audience know that I am a human being at the other end and I have a sense of humor. They love that. So I'll be honest. That whole quote can't be attributed to me, but the cheeky bit at the end can. So I'm going to put my name down there and change the attribution. And that font to me does not go with the top font. So I'm going to go back down to G for Glacial Indifference. You can use the same font. It actually looks great in the same font. Or you can choose a completely different font. Normally when you click on these, they've already got two fonts that go really well together. Oh, that's terrible. Um, so if, if you're not really into messing around with fonts, just leave it as it is um, and add your own text in. I think that looks great. A sans serif with a simple serif font. 
and I'm actually really happy with the way that looks. So once you're at the point where you're happy with the way it looks, you can click the download button on the top right hand corner. I always select JPEG and you hit the download button. That saves your design to your computer and then once it's finished saving, it will actually pop up with um, the option to share via Facebook, tweet or email. So I don't usually use that, I just jump straight here and save my photo, uh, use my saved photo off my computer to share. Alright, so that's a quote and now you can keep that saved in your Canva. Um, it will automatically save if you don't close it um, and it will automatically save to your Canva homepage. You can actually come back and use the exact same template to create all of your other social media quotes. That way you've got lots of consistency. Um, so I'll close that out. Now that's not saved. Um, and I will go back here and I'm going to create a quick sales post actually. I might jump on Facebook post instead to create a post for a sale. Say you're having a 50% a, a off sale on your business page and you want to let people know about that. No, we can't do anything with that. That's terrible. <laughs> I'll find something a little bit more modern. That's probably really cool if you have like a, a handmade children's business actually and you could add in a cute photo of your own product in the background. Or if you don't have great product photos, just jump on otilly.net um, and join up for a Styled Stock membership to get lots and lots of beautiful photos that you can use on social media. Um, sorry, I'm scrolling through here. I haven't found a template that I like. There we go. I love that. That's great. It's really modern and fun. Now you can change your background. Let's go with this one because it's pretty cool drag it into the background and that's automatically filled the whole background for you so it doesn't get any easier than that now I love that that says 30% off for new customers but I want to I want to give them 50% off or well, not if always do that um, and I don't want to use that font because that font's a little bit too clunky I think is the word so I'm going to use Helveticish. <laughs> That's quite clever. No, we're going to use a serif font for this one. It needs something a little bit more dressy. That's great. And I'm going to select a pink that's very similar to the pink in the background of the photo. And I'm going to add in some, some personality. Hey there. We are launching our new range not rage <laughs> rage at my typo is that black I can't tell I'm going blind making sure that that's black and I'm going to add in use code 50 new range that looks weird 50% off new stock uh, new styles sorry and I actually love that. That looks great. If I was a potential customer and scrolling through Facebook or Instagram and I saw that, it would totally attract my attention. Maybe make, actually I'd probably make this font just a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, the bigger the, the bigger the cell font, the more chance you've got of me looking. And I'm just going to go to 45, which is about the biggest we can get without going onto a new line. Now that looks amazing. So just hit the download button save as a JPEG. Now you could email that to your clients, you can post that on Facebook, you could you could share it on Twitter or Instagram, you can actually share non-square posts to Instagram now so that will work for Insta as well. Um, and make sure you make sure you include your your code in your caption as well so that customers can cut and paste because they can't cut and paste off the photo but if it's in your caption then it's very easy for them to just cut and paste your code. Uh, people love that, it's nice and simple. All right, if you guys have any questions at all or if you'd like to see a different tutorial in the future, just shoot me an email at hello at otilly.net. If you'd love some great, great, gorgeous styled stock photos to uh, amp up your business, check out otilly.net and there's heaps of different uh, things to look at there and all the inf information on a membership as well. And um, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.